The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, it said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. The good ship and crew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship, it was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and a captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and the wave broke over the railing. And every man knew as the captain did too, twas the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came the old cook came on deck saying fellows it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway caved in he said fellows it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew were in peril. And later that night, when its lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they would have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron rolls and Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know, with the gales of November remembered. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed, in the maritime sailors' cathedral. The church bell chimed to ring twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa and down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early.